Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in this morning. Today we're going to go over a used trailer. So we do take trade-ins. Um, this trailer in particular came in on trade on a new Cimarron living quarters, but this is a 2018 Hart. Now this is an interesting little trailer. Uh, it's called their jackpot model. Um, so it's got a, a small living quarters that I'll show you, and then it's got a big, big kind of trainer tack on it. But first, before we jump into that, I'll tell you, when we get our used trailers in, you know, we don't just wash them, uh, do our safety checks and that's it. We thoroughly go through these used trailers. I mean, those are parts of what we do to them. Uh, we've got two different shops. We've got a chassis shop and then a household shop. So in our chassis shop, you know, we go through the chassis side, the tack side, the load side of this trailer. Um, we'll realign every trailer. We put it on a Viz machine. You know, our guys go completely through this. I mean, whether it's adjusting windows or locks or maybe a divider, uh, maybe a pad got ripped up on a divider, they replace those. Um, you know, we try to go through these trailers uh, very, very thoroughly. Then on the household side, you know, we go through the living quarter side of it. You know, check water systems, LP, you know, make sure fire extinguisher, CO2, smoke detector, all that stuff's up to date. Uh, make sure it's all working properly. But, uh, uh, and then we also will go in and service appliances on these trailers as well. So we kind of take it a step further uh, than a lot of other dealerships do. But what we want is, we know this is not a brand new trailer, because it's not, it is a used trailer. This is a very well cared for and in good shape used trailer, but it is used. Um, so what we try to do is we try to get in as new a condition as, as we can for you, so you can go out and enjoy it when you buy it. But let's take a look at this. So again, it's a 2018 Hart. It's a four horse. And again, it's their jackpot. And one thing on their jackpot model is, is this is a pretty cool little layout right here. You know, you've got a, a bigger, almost like a trainer style tack room here, dual doors, you know, easy to access your saddles, everything on there. First all on the first two doors that swing open here. I mean, you, you'll see you got uh, blanket bars on each door. They've also got some hooks on the back of each of them for some splint boots. So a lot of storage here, four tier saddle rack. So those are adjustable. You just loosen those and you can slide them up or down. Here in the middle, they've got a, a almost like a carousel for your, for your bridles and just halters, little miscellaneous items like that. More hooks up above that. Over here on the slant wall a little bit, some more hooks there as well. And they've carpeted everything, you know, so any so anything that's rubbing up against the wall isn't going to scuff it up, making a lot more noise, um, you know, scuffing the trailer itself and then also scuffing your tack up. You've got some LED lights in there as well. But again, just, you know, big, easy to access everything from, from that standpoint of that tack setup. As you can see over the hip wall, they've got drop windows at each. So you've got drop windows on hip, drop windows on head. You can create a lot of airflow through this trailer. You've got some load lights. We'll show those on the back and then the other side as well. And this trailer is equipped with dual 7,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. These are 16 inch wheels, aluminum wheels. The black wheels with the silver accent there. And then these are 14 ply Goodyear. So you do have a, a really nice set of tires underneath here. You know, this trailer here, because of its age, and even though these are the original tires, they're in date. That's another thing that we look at here at TransWest when a trailer comes in on trade. If the tires don't match, if they're worn, or you know, if they're out of date based on the DOT code, five years of age based on that, we replace them. And we like to have a matching set on the floor or uh, on the ground there for you. And, um, you know, we try to make sure it's equipped with the correct tires. I mean, you know, this is with it kind of being a hybrid, kind of a smaller living quarters with a big tack and a four horse. It is really good to have those 14 plies under there. So this is an eight wide trailer. And what they did was, is it is equipped with mangers that I'll show you here in a minute, but we, they put a big access door on the back here. So just a single door, it's got a big bus window in it that slides. So again, creating a lot of airflow through these trailers. So in here in the stall area, you've got these airflow dividers. Each one of them's padded. 
And then at stall number one, you've got the rubber extension. So it's not the solid stud divider as far as the aluminum running down to the floor, but it is the, the rubber here, so it does work as a stud divider. Kick mats on the hip wall. More LED lights. And then these hearts are standard within a uh, uh, insulated roof, so it does keep it cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. And then you've got two-way roof vents. So, you know, in this trailer, the way it's set up, I mean, you can run in the deep south in that real hot and humid weather, um, creating a lot of airflow through here, you know, keeping horses nice and cool. So again, these are kind of some little things that our, our technicians would look at, you know, do the dividers, you know, slam nice and easy. I don't have to lift anything up. I don't have to adjust anything. Um, you know, they go through and just try to make sure everything is functioning how it should. As you can see, I mean, there's just maybe a couple little scuffs on that uh, wheel well in there from the horses. I mean, this trailer wasn't, wasn't used much at all. Here in this very small portion of this back, you know, we have the big entry. There's a little bit of a wall right here. So they mounted their bolt-on ladder that goes up into a six-foot sheeted hay rack up there. So you do have a hay rack and some storage there. And then, like I mentioned, this trailer has mangers, but behind that short wall right here is a broom closet. So these broom closets are really nice from the standpoint of, you know, this is a, a good location for maybe some buckets. Um, maybe you have a fold-up wheelbarrow you can throw in there, you know, forks, shovels, anything like that. This is a nice little area to put that kind of stuff right there. Then if we look over here on driver's side, head side here, we've got all the windows down, you know, drop windows with jail bars. These jail bars do come down as well. So if you stop somewhere and need to put a bucket of water in there or put some more feed in there, anything like that, those guys will drop down as well. And then you've got mangers on this trailer. You've got three access doors. These back two have a gas shock that swing up, and then you do have the bigger one ahead of the wheel wells there. It is kind of nice to have this, this one larger access door. I mean, you know, that's a good place if you're gonna be putting 50 pound bags of feed. It's a little easier to actually set them inside this than over here where you're dealing with wheel wells, and it's, as, it's not so much as putting them in there as it's getting them out if you have to. Um, but this is a really nice little bigger access right here. Uh, as far as that manger goes, and then there are LED lights in, the, in it as well. So you can have lights on in there so you're not in the dark. You've got three of them kind of between each door. Mangers are so handy from the standpoint of just all those little miscellaneous items that we're traveling with. Just to be able to put that stuff in there, it's not flopping around, and it's easily accessible. So in this jackpot model, I mentioned this is a smaller living quarters. So what we actually have is an 8-9 short wall here, and this is an outlaw conversion. So this, this is a very high quality conversion on this trailer. You know, you have that hardwood cabinetry, that name of, of outlaw, and that quality build there. So it's not an overwhelming size living quarters. You know, up top here, we have a place for you to sleep. Air conditioner. You have a flat screen TV. AM, FM radio. Microwave. And the 3.0 refrigerator right there. And then they try to get you a bench kind of by that. And then you've got a 
uh, sink right here. You know, they try to kind of come up with some creative places for just, you know, having some storage, but being able to access everything very, very easily. So this trailer here is all electric. So there's no LP on this. I'll show you underneath, but there's no LP tanks in here. So to run as far as your, your refrigerator, you know, run the heater in this guy, you have to be plugged in. And then behind us here, I'll step out of the way. You have your shower with toilet combined in this. Again, it's a smaller package. So they actually were able to really get a lot of stuff kind of crammed in this smaller, smaller size. Because on the back side of that, and you can see this kind of lip up here, that over there is actually the uh, back side of our, our uh, tack room over there. But again, you have that outlaw quality there. Again, a nice little jackpot model, as they call it. I want to show you there's one little ding on this trailer that I noticed, and it's right here, kind of at that first manger door. Looks just kind of like they kind of got into something, just kind of scuffed it up. Obviously, the door functions extremely well. We had it open and closed there. Um, it's the champagne sheeted color with the aluminum extrusion down low, so it gives it kind of a nice little look there. But here underneath this gooseneck, like I was telling you, you know, you don't see any LP tanks right there, again, because it's all electric. We have our 30 amp plug down there, but you do have a single leg, hydraulic jack, battery box with the disconnect in there, and then your spare location underneath the gooseneck as well. We'll kind of work our way around to the other side of this and in the meantime you can check out this really cool Kenworth Schwabi that Larry's going to do a video on here in a little bit. I know these trucks don't last very long so if you're looking for something like this make sure you tune into his video. But if you're interested in this 2018 Hart 4 horse, this jackpot model, I'll give you the stock number for reference. So it's 5U200953. So there's some big savings on a trailer that has been hardly used. I know that these newer models right now in the, in the 21 models, I believe they go for about mid 80s, maybe a touch more than that. Um, so there's a lot of savings right here. And again, we've gone through this trailer here at our shop. So if you have any questions, give us a call. 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good day.